Ladies and gentlemen, in just a moment, you are going to hear the voice of a man who will tell you some tremendously important facts, some amazing facts. The voice of a man who has made a discovery that is revolutionizing human thought, changing human lives, bringing happiness and success where discontent and failure were before. A discovery which in the short space of one year swept across the continent, encircled the earth, invaded almost every country on the globe. Welcome to the Reality Revolution. I am your host, Brian Scott. And today we are going to return to Anthony Norvell one of my favorite books by Anthony Norvell is called Cosmic Magnetism, The Miracle of the Magic Power Circle, which really talks about magnetism. It covers a lot of the territory he usually covers, metaphysical subjects, but it has a different style of writing, very similar to his book Metaphysics. Check out my previous episodes by Anthony Norvell. This one is out of print, and my copy is pretty bad, but I really enjoyed a chapter called the 20 golden rules for building your magic power circle. It has a lot of interesting ideas in it and we definitely need to add it to the pantheon of the reality revolution. The 20 golden rules for building your magic power circle. Life's richest rewards go to those who know how to build a strong and magnetic magic power circle around their bodies. Concentrated magnetism can only be built by a regime of study and effort, which help channel this cosmic power into dynamic lines of force and energy. People who possess strong dynamic magic circles are able to control others. They are like powerful magnets, able to attract into the orbit of their influence anything they desire. There are thousands of people in life who are deprived of riches, happiness, love, fulfillment, and friendship because they do not know how to build the magic power circle that magnetizes and attracts good things in life. Magnetism can be built by a regime that can be practiced daily, just as the body must be fed and the lungs must have air in order to, for the body to live. So too must the brain and body have a large quantity of cosmic magnetism in order to function efficiently. There are 20 golden rules for building your magic power circle. You can begin now to use these rules and little by little you will begin to see their results in every sphere of action in your life. Take each of these 20 golden rules and write them on little filing cards which you can carry in your pocket. Take one card a day and practice the golden rule that you have written on it. At the end of 20 days, you will have invoked all 20 of these golden rules and they will become a part of your consciousness. Then review these golden rules every month or two, being sure that you practice them in your daily magnetic regime. Rule number one, believe that you were born for a great destiny. Magnetism is built by your brain when you know that cosmic intelligence wants you to have the greatest of life's rich rewards and treasures. Your personal magic power circle is weakened when you believe you are inferior or when you believe that lack of education or an unfortunate early environment keeps you from achieving a higher goal in life. It is true that we cannot choose the circumstances of our birth or our parents, but the fact that you were born in a poor family or lacked a higher education need not keep you from achieving a great destiny. Most of the geniuses of history were self-taught. Knowledge is available in this day and age in evening schools, college extension courses, and correspondence courses by mail. Magnetism is built by activating your brain cells with knowledge. Have a study program throughout your entire life. When through with your formal education, take courses in art, music, foreign languages, public speaking, drama, short story writing, anything that interests you. It is not so much the actual knowledge you gain that improves you. It is the fact that you are magnetizing the various brain centers with new power. And the flow of magnetism 
to your body cells, helps improve your health, and gives you greater energy to do more in life. Rule number two. Have a high goal or dream back of your life. Such a high goal will give purpose to your life and cause magnetism to flow and sustain you until you have achieved that goal. A desire to become rich is not a goal in itself, but a desire to be rich to help others is a magnetic goal. You can have a dream to educate your family, to build a new home for their comfort, to help your community, to work for the cause of world peace, to help orphans or war veterans. All these and many other goals are desirable and give purpose and meaning to life. A person who has no goal in life is usually lacking in magnetic force or intensity. There can be more than one goal for the future. In fact, there should be many small goals which you can achieve and then go on to new and higher goals for the future. The case of Ralph E. Ralph E. was a man without a goal for the future. He came to me for counseling when he was 34 years old. He had been a drifter, going from one job to another. He had never married for he was afraid he could not support a family. He came from a poor family and believed that he could never get anywhere in life because he was not a college graduate. Ralph E. lacked personal magnetism and drive. He was weak and vacillating and showed clearly the evidence of his unmagnetic thinking in life. I gave him a one-year program of study after finding out his capacities and limitations, this including taking a course in public speaking in evening high school. He was to work daytimes at any job he could find and study at night. At the end of three months' study, Ralph E. reported to me again, and I could tell the moment I saw him that he had set into motion powerful magnetic forces within his brain and body. He was neat in appearance. He smiled with confidence. His hand clasp was firm and sincere. His eyes had a look of friendliness and warmth, and his voice was so improved that it was a minor miracle. Now, Ralph E. was eager for progress, and he was anxious to conquer new worlds. He wanted to know how he should continue in his program of study and growth. I told him to continue going to school, but to shift to a drama study course so he could learn how to talk, walk, stand, and project his magnetism to others. His public speaking had already trained his voice, and he was ready for his next step in his study of magnetism. Ralphie did not report to me again. He didn't need to, for his efforts to improve himself worked amazingly well. I turned on my television set one night, and there, in a small part, was Ralph E., playing the role of a policeman in a modern drama. On his own, with his newfound magnetism and a new goal firmly set, he was achieving a career that he desired. Rule number three. Exercise the power of your imagination. Creative imagination is back of all man's achievements in industry, science, art, and literature. Cosmic magnetism flows more readily in a mind that has developed the imagination than in one that is literal and unimaginative. All great geniuses of history had strong imaginations. Develop your imagination by passing mental pictures through your mind each day of things you want to do and be. Visualize yourself owning your own business. See yourself attracting good luck instead of bad. Imagine yourself taking a trip to Europe for a vacation. These acts of imagination will help release magnetism to the creative centers of your brain and eventually bring about the very things that you imagined. Rule number four, build self-confidence and faith in yourself and your talents. A weak, vacillating personality can never be magnetic and powerful. To have a continuous flow of personal magnetism in your personality, you must build self-confidence and faith in yourself and your talents. I knew a very wonderful girl singer who should have been famous and successful, but she lacked confidence in herself and her talents. 
She had a fine voice. Her voice teacher tried to inspire this girl to go on to try for opera. But feelings of inferiority, which came from her early childhood, kept her from ever achieving her goal. She finally gave up singing and went into secretarial work where she can never use her God-given beautiful voice. Build self-confidence by setting little goals for yourself which are possible for you to achieve. After attaining such a goal, strive to achieve others until gradually you build confidence and faith in yourself and your gifts. Rule number five. Develop strong willpower to increase magnetism. Magnetism flows to the creative centers of your higher mind by a conscious volitional act of will. The will to live causes man to struggle against obstacles and survive. The will to succeed makes some millionaires. The will to love causes the race to propagate itself. The will to be healthy can keep you healthy. To develop willpower, set tasks for yourself that you must achieve. Have a daily schedule in which you set out for yourself certain things you must do such as write a letter you have long put off. Stop smoking for a week until you prove your willpower is strong enough to go on and stop forever. Force yourself to save a certain amount of money each week for something you want to buy. Will yourself to ignore people who irritate you or make you angry. In little ways such as this, you can exercise the power of the will until it is strong enough for you to achieve any goal that you set for yourself. Rule number six, have an ambition to build a magnetic personality. Cosmic magnetism flows most readily when it is channeled for some definite purpose. When the nerves of the body and brain are stimulated with a desire to become a strong magnetic personality. Cosmic magnetism flows along the nerves more readily and creates a whirlpool of mental and psychic energy. Stand before a mirror and give yourself positive magnetic statements to stimulate cosmic magnetism. I am a center of magnetic power. I project friendliness and joy to everyone I meet. I now breathe deeply of the golden elixir of life and it stirs every atom and cell of my body and brain. I am youthful. I am joyous. I am powerful. I am a dynamo of vibrant power. Create vibrancy in your personality by thinking beautiful and lofty thoughts. Magnetic power flows in undulating waves when you thrill to beautiful and inspiring music. It is created in the brain cells when you are stirred to emotional ecstasy at scenes of beauty in nature. It flows vibrantly when you share any positive emotion with others. Share your happiness. Share your good. Share your peace and harmony with friends and loved ones. Rule number seven. Build a magnetic aura of cosmic knowledge and power. Everything in the universe gives off a magic circle or magnetic aura. A rose possesses its magic circle in its radiant color and perfume which it gives to the world. The moon has its silver aura of magical circle power and lovers thrill to its celestial message of magnetism. A songbird projects its magic circle aura in its song. A majestic tree raises its leafy arms in exaltation towards the cerulean blue sky with its magic circle. You too can build a magnetic aura by creating higher centers of vibrancy in your brain centers through absorbing the power that knowledge gives. Study a little of all the branches of learning through books that you can obtain in your public library. Know something of astronomy, philosophy, psychology, literature, music, art, the theater, and opera. As you build knowledge, you build your magic circle aura of cosmic magnetism. Rule 
Number eight, learn how to conserve the magnetism that is in your brain and body. Your brain and body possess vast funds of cosmic magnetism naturally. And if you learn how to conserve this magnetism, you will become highly magnetic and powerful in your magic circle aura. The scattering of mental and physical magnetism occurs by making unnecessary gestures when you talk, by blinking the eyes unnecessarily, by toying with a handkerchief or keys or other objects when talking to other people. Nervous mannerisms short-circuit personal magnetism and should be carefully avoided. Learn how to hold the body still for five minutes or more at a time in practice sessions. Hold a full glass of water in your hand and walk about the room trying not to spill it. This helps control magnetism. Hold your mind still and do not let thoughts control you, but rigidly control your thoughts so you can think one thing at a time. Look at a spot on the wall and try to hold your eyes still without blinking for a count of 10. Then increase the time until you can hold still to a count of 50 or 100. Rule number nine, use the precious golden hours of each day wisely. Time is the magnetic substance of life. The way you use your time will determine what you create in life. A time schedule for each day will help you avoid doing things that waste time and energy. Magnetism is built in those precious hours that most people fritter away each day. Do not look at television for more than two hours a day. Those extra two hours that you spend could be more usefully engaged in study, social activities, or concentrating on building your mental and physical magnetism. Avoid going to most movies and plays. Select only those that are truly entertaining, uplifting, inspiring, and educational. Avoid those plays and movies that cater entirely to sensuality and violence for these excessive emotions of abnormality short circuit your brain and body magnetism and coarsen the entire consciousness. How a boy became an Olympic champion. A young man I once knew who instinctively built a magnetic personality had set his goal from boyhood to become a swimmer of renown. Not only did he want to achieve something worthwhile, but he wanted a strong, healthy, and magnetic body. Other boys spent time in pool rooms, bowling, going to movies, nightclubs, dancing, but this boy spent most of his spare time swimming in his local YMCA pool. By the time he was in college, he had become so outstanding in his chosen sport that he was selected to compete for the Olympic Games and was chosen to go to the World Olympics in Mexico City, where he won outstanding honors for America in the swimming contests. Rule number 10. Condition your mind to success riches, happiness. You become that which you think most often. You can build your magnetic power circle in the image and likeness of that which you hold in your consciousness. And soon you will magnetize the elements that bring you fulfillment of your desires. Begin now to condition your mind to the image of success. Successful people think, act, and look a certain way. When people look at you, they see the mental image you have built. Magnetize the image of success by feeling successful and acting successful. Even if you do not have a big bank account, act as though you owned the whole world. You do own it as much as any other person alive. Mentally take possession of the free parks, the reasonable transportation system of your city or town. That bus or subway is yours for the small sum you pay and is chauffeured for you by competent drivers. Walk through your art galleries, museums, and public libraries and claim them as your personal property. This thought of riches and abundance will magnetize the cells of your brain and body with feelings of opulence and wealth, and soon you will actually begin to grow richer. The books, art, objects, and treasures in public buildings are all yours to use and enjoy. Claim your inheritance from life and begin to act as though you were already a millionaire. Rule number 11. Build a radiant 
cheerful, and optimistic personality. Your personal magic circle aura reflects the thoughts you secretly think. When you see a motion picture in which your first view is a ghostly house with a window flapping in the wind, chains rattling and bats flying out the windows, you prepare yourself for a chilling mystery story. The atmosphere has been created to make you feel a sense of mystery. Likewise, people build a mental and physical atmosphere which proclaims to the world the thoughts that haunt them. Put into your magic circle aura an atmosphere of radiant good cheer and optimism. Think cheerful thoughts most of the time and do not let yourself subscribe to the pessimistic philosophy that things are going to get worse, that the world is going to blow up, that war is inevitable and perpetual or any of the other unmagnetic and negative thoughts that motivate millions of people. See the world as a bright and happy place in which there is a cosmic intelligence that is working out your destiny perfectly. See people as predominantly friendly and honest and convince yourself that those who are criminal or vicious are in the minority and are psychologically unsound. Use cheerful, positive, and happy words when you talk to people and avoid morbid, obscene, and pessimistic ones. Magnetism flows in a golden aura that is visible to others when you maintain a cheerful, happy, and optimistic attitude towards life and people. Rule number 12. Build a cosmic consciousness that embraces a universe. Most people live in a world of limited vision and thought. In an age where man has used the force of cosmic magnetism to fly to the moon and back, these people are still living in the horse and buggy state of consciousness, which circumscribes their world and their creative power. Build your consciousness to embrace the entire universe. Be aware of the mysteries of life beyond the limits of the material horizons, which shut off the flow of cosmic power. Someone has said, and when you've reached the golden summit of your dreams, know that there are sights beyond the veil. This cosmic consciousness makes you aware of the sights and sounds that are invisible to the average earthbound mortal. Be big and generous in your viewpoint of life. Give value to the important issues of life. Do not become caught up in the backwash of petty quarrels, minor issues, and non-essentials. See the overall goal or purpose back of life and live with the viewpoint of foreverness. This sense of cosmic continuity will provide a feeling of unity and cohesiveness to every act of your life and bring you concentrated cosmic power to fulfill yourself and your destiny. Rule number 13. Anticipate wonderful things happening to you each day. There is magic and power in the emotion of anticipation. When you have something to look forward to that you await with eager anticipation, it gives meaning and purpose to each day's activity. People who settle down into routines of dullness and mediocrity seldom express joy and magnetism in their personalities. Look forward to each day as a joyous adventure. See life as being full of pleasant surprises. When you condition your mind negatively to expect only the worst, you use precious mental and spiritual magnetism to fashion a world of calamity, disaster, and misfortune. As a spider spins a web out of the substance of its own inner self, so too man fashions the world of his choice from the inner magnetic substance of his aspirations. The woman who always anticipated the worst a woman who came to my lectures in New York City was the type of woman who always anticipates the worst. She was woebegone and forlorn. Her clothes reflected her morose and sad nature. She wore shades of drab brown or black, with never any relief of color in kerchief, handbag, or shoes. The corners of her mouth were pulled down in a perpetual frown. Her eyes wore a melancholy look, as if she had lost her last friend. This woman had lost her husband and was alone in the world cause enough for sadness as she told me in her first interview but the colorless life she lived antedated the loss of her husband she was brought up by spartan parents who taught her that all pleasure was somehow sinful and that she must be perpetually in a state of sackcloth and ashes to atone for mankind's sins i pointed out to this woman that god created a joyous universe 
and festooned it with a canopy of cerulean blue for a sky and golden clouds and crimson sunrises and sunsets that he splashed upon the cosmic canvas of life glorious reds and blues purples and greens and wove a tapestry of dreams for man's immortal soul to ponder I told her of the invisible music of countless ocean waves lapping a million shores of the mystery and magic of night with its myriad sounds the hidden magic in every robin's nest the wonder of moonrise and sunset and man was placed here on earth to be the recipient of all these miracles of the creative cosmic mind after two or three interviews with this woman I began to detect subtle changes in her personality and appearance she began to wear brighter colors in her apparel she lost her look of loneliness and fear and the corners of her mouth were more frequently pulled up into a magnetic smile her face became softer and more lovely her eyes lost their haunted look and began to look like the innocent blue wondering eyes of a child this woman became quite attractive in six months time and her magic circle attracted a retired merchant at one of my lectures who fell in love with her and married her a new and enchanting chapter began for her with that marriage and soon she was sailing away on a honeymoon cruise to Europe something that would have been utterly impossible for her to conceive until she changed her entire consciousness rule number 14 know that the universe is filled to overflowing with every type of treasure that you can have magnetism flows most abundantly when your mind is aware of the fact that the universe teems with abundance and that you have been given the power to attract anything you really need look about you in the realm of nature and realize this truth the very atmosphere is filled with magnetism electricity and life-giving oxygen to sustain your precious life force this earth teems with fruits vegetables and herbs for man's healing and enjoyment the sea is filled with fish diamonds gold and pearls man is just now beginning to tap vast pools of oil under the seas and find other treasures that will feed the earth's teeming billions in years to come lumber iron ore coal silver gold uranium and oil in abundance are located within the earth man has been given the power to tap these storehouses of valuable treasures and use these riches for every good purpose the air is filled with atomic power which can turn our motors run our industries and furnish work for countless millions in the future know that you have truly inherited the earth and all therein the bible gives us this magnetic statement of fact know ye not that ye are heirs to a kingdom rule number 15 create your magic circle mask of beauty and enchantment to keep yourself in the steady awareness of your soul's inner magnetism and beauty build the magic circle mask of beauty and enchantment and wear it proudly for all to see a legend is told in the mystic lands of the far east about a powerful king who was cruel and ruled over his kingdom with an iron hand a nearby province was ruled by a beautiful princess the king ordered his soldiers to conquer this province and bring the princess to him as he wanted to make her his queen when this was done the king approached the princess to ask her to be his bride but his face wore such an expression of cruelty and arrogance that the princess shrank away from him in terror this grieved the king and he called in his wise men to find out how he could win the hand of the beautiful princess they told the king we shall make a magic mask that you will wear and on it we shall engrave the qualities of love gentility and goodness which the princess will admire as long as you wear the magic mask no one will see your true character the wise men made a mask of fine wax and painted it in its contours and all the admirable traits of character they wanted the king to assume they molded it to the king's face when he looked into the mirror he was pleased and said now i shall court the princess and win her for my bride as he was leaving one of the wise men said there's one thing we must caution you about you must hold in your mind all the qualities that we have molded into the magic mask of love goodness gentility kindness peace and beauty if you hold any contrary thoughts to these they will shatter the mask and our deception will be known after a few days when the king sought out the princess and she saw the amazing change that had come over him she was amazed he courted her with gentility and love and soon won her hand and she became his queen 
But after a few weeks, the king became troubled and once again called in his wise men and said, I cannot continue this deception of my queen any longer. Remove the magic mask and let her see me as I really am. The wise men removed the magic mask from the king's face, and they gasped in astonishment, for upon the king's face were all the positive magnetic qualities that had been imprinted on the magic mask. The king's face now reflected all the mental qualities that he had imprinted on his mind, and he and his queen lived happily ever after. Your magic mask of beauty and enchantment can have built in it any qualities that you mentally desire. You can be a hero on the stage of life, not a villain. You can radiate love and beauty of mind and soul. You can have friendliness and the magnetic charm of a smiling countenance instead of a frown on your face. You can hold beautiful and inspiring thoughts in your mind and they will weave their magic on your face and in the hearts of others. Rule number 16. Use the positive and magnetic emotional drives to motivate your life. Misdirected emotional energy often short circuits a person's magnetism and causes him to lose his positive force and drive. Learn how to use positive and magnetic emotional drives to motivate your entire life. Love and sex, when combined, can furnish the most powerful master motive for magnetic action in life. When you fall in love and marry with the intentions of rearing a family, you are enabled to harness the magnetic force of the cosmos and channel it into constructive and creative forms that build happiness and fulfillment. The magnetic emotional drive to do good and to be good can furnish you with motivation for achieving every single dream you have. The emotional drive to be kind, considerate, and to encourage others will magnetize your mind and body with magnetic lines of force that bring you a sense of well-being and harmony. The magnetic and emotional drive to create beauty for the world to enjoy can make you a creative genius. Rule number 17. Choose your right life work for fuller enjoyment of life. Throughout your life, you will be engaging in some form of creative work or activity. Select the work that your own inner instinct tells you is right for you. Many great creative talents are lost because men and women listen to their parents who select the work their children should do. I knew a girl who was struggling to become a ballet dancer because her mother was frustrated, stage-struck girl who made up her mind that her daughter would become a star. This girl was forced to study acting, music, and ballet all to no avail. Her heart was not in it. She wanted to become a nurse and a minister to the sick. Finally, after I advised her to give up her aspirations for the stage and enroll in a course for nursing, she did this and changed her entire attitude towards life from one of defeatism to radiant joy. No one can choose your future life work but yourself. Rule number 18. Build the magnetic quality of enthusiasm in your magic circle. Enthusiastic people are usually magnetic and attractive. This is a quality of youth, and if you wish to become more youthful and radiant, build enthusiasm as a daily emotional stimulant. Find something you can truly like and be enthusiastic about. Look forward each day to making new friends and be enthusiastic about sharing your experiences with them. This gives radiance and magnetism to your personal magical aura. Try to be enthusiastic about your work, and if you are not, change it. For you will never be happy until you are able to radiate this positive emotion of enthusiasm. Have something that you are constantly looking forward to that you can arouse enthusiasm over, such as a party you will attend, an outing to the country, the buying of a new car, or a new summer outfit to wear. Plan your dream home and share it with your beloved. Get travel literature and plan your next vacation to some foreign country. The magnetic emotion of enthusiasm furnishes the psychic and mental drive to achieve the things you build in the world of fantasy and imagination. You can vastly expand the horizons of your world by exercising this magnetic emotion each day. Rule number 19. Learn to use the magnetic law of cosmic cooperation in your daily life. When you learn how to cooperate with the cosmic laws of the universe, everything flows smoothly in your life. 
When you violate these laws and fail to cooperate, the forces of nature take their toll in sickness, misery, and poverty. Do everything in moderation. Do not overeat, overwork, oversleep, or overplay. Nature demands that you obtain at least seven to eight hours sleep each night after a hard day's work. But if you sleep 10 or more hours, you actually harm the body. This is the latest scientific finding. You cannot rest too much for it weakens the body instead of refreshing it. If you work very hard, you must balance work with some relaxation and play each day. To balance mental work, you should have some hobby or sport that gives you a chance to build physical magnetism through exercise. You must cooperate with the cosmic law in the universe in every sphere of action in your life. If you want to receive from life, you must first give. The closed hand, heart, and mind do not give anything, but neither do they receive anything. The miser grows rich but becomes poorer than the poorest person. Give kindness and gain friendship. Give service and become rich. Give consideration and happiness and you gain love. Give yourself and gain the world. Rule number 20. Use the magnetic law of cosmic integrity. Dishonesty, lying, cheating, and immoral conduct violate one of the basic laws of the universe, the law of cosmic integrity. Civilization has been built on the moral and spiritual codes found in the Ten Commandments and the Sermon on the Mount. Study these two great documents in the Bible and live your life according to their cosmic rules. Apply the golden rule to your life. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And you will be putting your mind, body, and soul into a magnetic state of action that will cause everything to fall into its correct place in your future life. When we violate this magnetic law of cosmic integrity, we become mentally and physically sick and suffer from every form of disorientation and ailment which afflicts humanity today. So to summarize, you can create rich rewards by building what Norvell calls a magnetic magic power circle around your body. And he talks about believing that you were born for greatness and then you release magnetism to achieve it, that you have this great destiny. He discusses how to shape the goal or dream back of your life to think big thoughts and it creates magnetism to attract for what you desire. I like the story he told of Ralph who was able to build a new career when he magnetized his mind with the thought of achieving a high goal. Really the point of a lot of this is setting that high goal creates the magnetism that you need. And it's important that he qualifies this through the power of imagination. Although that was a short little section, we've talked about imagination a lot on the podcast and we create a magnetism when we use our imagination. And we can build strong willpower by creating magnetism in the personality and environment. And the magnetic aura of cosmic knowledge and power will help you to shape your life for greater power and joy. And he discussed how to shape the golden hours of each day into the magnetic substance of life and gain more from life. I really liked his story of the, the boy who became the swimmer by using conservation of time and magnetic action, by believing in his goal, setting the goal and achieving it. You can create a radiant, cheerful and optimistic personality through these suggestions. And if you believe Norvell, which I do, the hidden treasures of the universe are there. And you can do this by using the cosmic laws of anticipation, of integrity, of cosmic cooperation, and ultimately by setting big goals, being positive, refusing to think in a negative way, it affects your face, it affects your life, and you magnetize these positive things to you in your life. Of course, it's a little bit repetitive from all the stuff we talk about in the podcast, but he has a certain way of writing that is very persuasive and powerful that I really enjoy. We'll always return to Anthony Norvell. There's so much more that we can go over and I hope you enjoy it. If you have any suggestions, then I'd love to hear it. But these are the 20 golden rules. And like he said, create a card for each of these and activate these by thinking about it, by integrating these concepts into your life and you will see big changes. 
In any case, all episodes of The Reality Revolution can be found at therealityrevolution.com. And welcome to The Reality Revolution. <laughs>